Okay, now we're going to look at a hip flexor stretch. Majorly important, as you well know, for those of you that are familiar with the hip protocol, you know that that trigger point in the first part of that hip protocol lies just at that, just above that hip flexor attachment. So it's really, really important we're able to stretch this muscle properly because there's a lot, a lot of different variations on this. This one I find is probably the most effective of all the years that I've been working with hip flexors and hip flexor stretches. Okay. So what is most important here is that the pelvis itself is actually centered straight, okay? It also means that one side's not up, okay, or one side's twisted that way. So you've got to make sure that their pelvis is nice and straight. Second part of that is the pelvis is actually tucked down, all right? So you're getting what we call a posterior rotation. So you're locking down, making sure that pelvis is situated into the posterior okay whereas if it's anterior then we're really not going to get that tensional load on that hip flexor stretch that we want okay so central make sure that there's no shift through the lateral part of the pelvis locked down into a posterior position and obviously we're going to have a little bit of hip extension here as well <clears throat> now this is where we vary we're going to bring the arm up Okay, so Kurt's going to bring his arm up and he's going to push it up as high as he can towards the ceiling, okay, because we want to lengthen up as much as we can through that area. So it's really, really important. <clears throat> okay, so now we've got a tensional load coming down through here. He then, to increase the stretch, all he needs to do is go a little bit into lateral flexion and then just a slight little bit of into lumbar extension and he should be able to feel it through there. Feeling it through there? Okay, so this takes a little time to get used to doing this stretch as well because there's a lot going on here. All right, now move out of that. Okay, so we're using the five second count again and then we just move back into that area again. All right, so should be getting a nice general stretch all the way through that hip flexor.